What is up everybody? This is Frank at Saga Pixel and in this video I'm going to show you how to get your Elementor, uh, Visual Composer, slash WP Bakery, um, Divi, or other page builder WordPress website to have a, an acceptable time the first bite. Uh, so let's check it out. If you've spent any amount of time working with visual page builders, you'll notice that a lot of them have a terrible time the first bite. Um, in this case, this is a and a website that we built with Elementor a few months back, and it has a time to, to first bite that's well over a second. Uh, by the end of this video, you're gonna see that I'm gonna get this down to a, a fraction of that. Uh, so let's uh, jump in. Uh, the first thing we're gonna do here is, uh, I'm, instead of using something like GT Metrics, I'm actually gonna use the browser here. So if you, it, I'm in Firefox, but if you're in Chrome, there are similar tools, you just need to inspect go to the inspector, click over to network, and then we're gonna do a hard refresh of the page. Uh, in this case, I'm on a Mac, so I, I hold shift and click on the refresh button, which empties out, and look at that. 1.4 second time the first byte, that is terrible. What I'm gonna do to start off is go into the back end of the website, close this out, and we're gonna go over to the plugins. Now the plugin that we're going to be using is called WP Optimize. Um, this plugin is going to allow us to preload a lot of the pages on the web or all the pages on the website so that uh, we don't have to wait that 1.4 seconds for stuff to just start getting delivered to our browser. I'm going to go over to um, Add New. I'm going to look for WP Optimize. Now, another thing that I want to point out is that if you have a caching plugin already installed on the website, you probably want to deactivate and get rid of it. Having more than one caching on a site can cause some problems, so be conscious of that. Uh, in this case, I have uh, WP Supercache installed. I'm just going to delete it because I'm not going to need that anymore with this. Uh, going over to settings, we are going to go over to database. The first thing I'm going to actually do is clean up some of these da the, the database. Click on run all the selective optimizations. Um, if you have if you're in the middle of doing like editing the website, you may not want to do this uh, right here. This one specifically will uh, will erase any sort of old um, old versions of the posts that you had. So be conscious of that. We're going to go over to um, cache. We're going to enable page caching. And I'm actually going to set this out. Um, I'm, I'm actually going to go over here to the preload next. So we're going to click on run now. And this is going to start the preload. Uh, that means it's going to be going through the website and uh, like it sounds, preloading the page. So we're not going to have that super long time the first byte. Uh, and we're gonna get this stuff, we're gonna get a much better score when it comes to our uh, Google PageSpeed Insights. Other things, we're gonna go check out the GZIP. GZIP is enabled, which is great. Dismiss that. All right, and this is done. So I'm gonna go over, I'm gonna log out of the site and we're gonna to go to the front end again. Network, and I'm gonna do another hard refresh. 0.2 seconds now. So we brought this down from 1.4 seconds all the way down to 0.2 seconds just by enabling the preload of the page. I hope that this was helpful. If it was, please like, please leave a comment. I do check it up. You'll probably get a response from me. And if you're interested in learning more about SEO and WordPress, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Thanks.